Hello and welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be showing you a desk tour. I just got my new desk. Well, I got my new desk two months ago and I just now decided to organize it. So I thought it'd be the perfect time to film a desk tour. I hope that this video motivates you to organize your desk so you can be more productive throughout the day. That is all I have to say for this intro. So let's get on to the desk tour. Here's an overview of my desk. I decided to go with the small Mickey desk because it didn't take up as much space. And I also wanted to get the Alex drawer for extra storage since the desk only came with one drawer. Like I said, the desk is the Mickey desk from Ikea. It's the small one. And then the Alex drawer is also from Ikea. The first thing that I'm going to talk about is my desk chair. I got it off Facebook Marketplace. It was only $40. I think it's by the brand Mainstays, but I'm not sure. I don't know if I would recommend this chair because when I'm leaning against it for a long time, it hurts my back since this part is so low. I always like to keep a blanket on my chair because when I'm studying, I get cold and I just like to wrap myself with the blanket. So that blanket is always there. As you can tell, there isn't much decoration on top of my desk, not only because the desk is small and there isn't much room for decoration, but I like the minimal look. I like how this desk has a compartment to put an extension cord at the bottom so you can connect your charger for your laptop, iPad, phone, and then stick all the cords in there so you don't have a mess on your desk. Right next to that, I have a mason jar, and then in here I just have highlighters, pens, pencils, anything like that. Right next to the mason jar, I have my water bottle. I always keep one on here. And then there's a coaster on the bottom because I don't want my desk to get ruined. Right next to that is my laptop stand and my wireless keyboard as well as my laptop. Then I have my printer. I push it all the way back so I have room to put something else in the front. But when I do use the printer, I just pull it out. So this compartment where you put the paper doesn't hit the mirror. And then when I'm done using it, I'll just push it back. I really like this printer because it's Bluetooth, so I just have to download the app on any of my devices and then I can use the printer. Another thing that I like about this printer is that the paper compartment is down here instead of up here because then I can just put a notebook on top of the printer when I'm not using it. For my desk drawer, I just like to keep it very minimal. In here, I have my blue light glasses, an organizer from Target. This was just a dollar and you can just write your to-do list right here. You write the date, the goals you have for the day, something you want to remember for tomorrow, and the word of the day. It comes with a hundred something pages. I don't really remember. But you can find this at the dollar section at Target. I have my planner and then a notebook that I use for every single class. On this side, I just have my iPad and a mouse pad down here. I'm going to move on to talking about my Alex drawer and what's in each of the drawers and how I decided to organize it. So in this first one, I just like to keep things that I use almost every single day. The little white containers are from Target and the small ones came in a pack of four. The long ones in the back came in a pack of three and the big one came in a pack of three, I think. In this first little compartment right here, I keep my AirPods. Right here, I have some tabs and tape. I mean, yeah, tape at the bottom and an eraser. This one just holds extra keys that I have. This one has tape and glue or just random things that I might need. That one has paper clips. I have white sticky notes right here. I got these off of Amazon. I have some tape. This one has dry erase markers. I have my Sharpies here, scissors in the back. I have my calculator back here because I don't need it for school, but if I did need it, it's just right here. Along with my scissors, I just keep these little coin things from the bank when I need to go turn my coins in and then I just push these back to have more room in case I need to have anything else right here. The second drawer holds all of my cables and like I said these came in a pack of three. So in this first compartment I have two things for my camera, some headphones, my Apple watch and then these little cloths that you get when you get like a new screen protector or stuff like that. This next one has my camera charger, a portable charger, these things, and then my remote for the TV. Right down here I have my mouse that I use almost every single day, which is why it's right here. I got this thing off of Amazon in case I need to connect any USB cables to my computer, but you can also put an SD card in here. This is a little bag for my blue light glasses, so I just keep that in here. I have some batteries. 
And then I have these things that you can use to tie around your cords so they don't get all messy. I got these off of Amazon and I'm pretty sure they came in a packet of 20. I found these camera covers at Target at the $1 section and I bought these but I haven't put them on my camera yet but I'm planning to use one for my camera and probably one for my iPad. I just have an external hard drive down here, my charger for my phone. And then everything back here are things that I don't use, but I might need. So I just keep the black thing wrapped around them, and then I just push them towards the back. This third one is kind of a random drawer for now. I'm not sure what I want to put in it, but for now I just have my iPad case. I have two books that I need to read for school. I just got these. And then I have two keyboards down here. And this little Apple Pencil case. Like I said, this is what's in here for now, but I'm probably going to find a different use for this drawer because there's a lot of empty space in the back. This fourth drawer doesn't actually hold any of my things. These are my siblings' things or an extra computer that my mom uses. So up here, they each have their tablet. Then this is my mom's computer. This is my old one. And then I have screen protectors for the iPads down there. They have some chargers here and then some face masks. We decided to put all of their tech things in here because our cat likes to bite cords, so this was the best place to put them. For this last drawer, I just like to keep things that I use on a daily basis, so I have extra folders and then this file folder at the bottom which keeps all of my important papers. I have tape that I use when I pack Poshmark orders and then I have an extra organizer that I showed you guys earlier from Target. That is everything for my desk tour. I hope this gave you an idea on how to organize your desk. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.